What's up YouTube? Today I will be reviewing the Lanx Pulse Kerberos Z01. This is the first release of this company and we also got a detailed look at the second release. I got this figure for almost uh, two months uh, for two months and I be I've been handling this figure carefully but I got some uh, you know defects on Simus body. Uh, Although it's expensive, we also got, you know, quality issues because of the company or, you know, a figure itself. But overall, I will be reviewing and, you know, in the end, I will be warning uh, how, where to be careful when handling this figure. So first of all, I will be taking a good look at the figure itself. First of all, uh, when you look at the head, the face, uh, you know, the skin tone of the face and the seamless body doesn't uh, seem to be matching. Uh, this is, uh, you know, it's not really obvious when you look at this, uh, you know, in your hand. But when you are ta uh, sh taking a picture of this figure, you realize, you know, light on the face and the skin are different. Uh, that's not a big problem, but, uh, you know, it's kind of kind of annoying I guess well let's take a look uh, at the figure itself it's really well made it's uh, realistic uh, proportions for a uh, you know 12 scale figure it's very heavy and solid it's got die cast frame uh, and you know silicon cover of uh, of it and because of that we got plenty of articulation and we got a solid you know dynamic pauses out of this so first of all let's take a look at the articulation itself you know you can move head side to side you can look up uh, moving the neck joint looking down you know side to side like this and down that far we got shoulder joint it's really difficult because there's bunch of uh, metal ball joints inside this figure so because of that uh, exactly all of the articulation points are ball joints so uh, when you do uh, you know wrong uh, when you moving the articulation points we do something wrong it affects to silicone body so it's most likely to harm and damage the silicone body so be careful handling this figure you know arms go up that far we got butterfly joint kind of butterfly effect uh, you know you can move her arm like this like that you know it breaks the illusion because of the ball joint you know, shoulders up like that uh, we got bent almost 90 degrees and we can make over 90 degrees but it uh, could damage the silicone body so we uh, won't look at the detailed look at dash joint we got ball jointed head it's kind of limited because of this hand is you know removable we, we got interchangeable hands because of that uh, feet and the arm uh, the hand itself got limited articulation but for the waist it's really amazing you know you can move her waist like that we got ab crunch very dynamic pose it's very realistic uh, you can uh, move her you know crouch back that far it's really amazing uh, I will be careful moving her legs especially the left leg because it got a defect inside uh, around her thighs so I don't want to you know move that too much and you know make a uh, tour that silicone apart so I will be showing on her uh, right leg it goes up that far it's really crazy uh, range you can bend her legs as well you know back that far 
she can do a full split but i won't do uh, that because it could damage the figure itself you know the feet itself is uh, similar to hand articulation overall i think the articulation is amazing as expected from a seamless figure at this price and at this quality so it's really lovely uh, piece of art so i will be moving to accessories you got her grabbing hand, especially this hand is for you know, grabbing the rifle itself. You now you can make pose uh, of holding her gun like this by changing this hand as well. You know, it's like this. Well, you can make her grab a gas grenade as well we got her grabbing her you know deadly knife sharp knife with her hand uh, we also got a mask for her first of all removing the face plate and as well as the hairpiece uh, when you actually putting the mask on you Put the face on and you know put the mask over face it, it looks very menacing in my opinion it's really unique design and unique choice for this figure you know she looks like a special agent or team of assassin that's really a good gimmick you got her cape, which which she can actually wear on her shoulders and wrap around her shoulders. We got her with her accessories and this piece. I don't know if it, that is an armor or know just uh, standing there but we got some transparent cardboards or discs you know it's hard to remove that in order to show you know it's just like scanning data or just uh, you know head of the rifle it kind of gives that vibe to me we also got interchangeable faces a uh, few expressions that one is most likely surprised or angry face well removing her face we got her you know kind of mad face just absorbing something with her you know very uh, foxed eyes a little bit closer then we got her normal face with almost zero emotions on her face and we also got included battle damaged face uh, we can fit that face with her battle damaged costume but it's kind of embarrassing to uh, you know just view uh, take a look at that closes but it's kind of gives a thought that she, uh, she injured her face and you know uh, body overall when she was fighting at street well we got also we got kind of you know she can wear that on her arm as well as uh, on her legs she also got shin plates for protecting her leg when doing something athletic or fighting something as for the scale comparison i got fantasy goes long range fox uh, they both are 12 scale and you know their head can be changed kind of you know you can make a difference like this I don't know it's just there and you can do that well 
for the final thoughts, I would say I'm really, really appreciate this figure and I don't have any regrets getting this figure. It was for $150. The quality itself is great. The figure itself feels very nice, hefty and solid. It comes with lots of accessories. There were also belts and shin plates, but I didn't show that on video as well as the tie stockings. Uh, well, uh, in my opinion, this figure is really nice, uh, well-made figure and the quality is 